Thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. Luke chapter 7, verse 3. I want to talk about faith again in a different way. Verse 3, the centurion heard of Jesus and sent some elders of the Jews to ask him. Let me repeat this again. The centurion heard of Jesus and sent some elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and heal his servants. Verse 4, when they came to Jesus, they pleaded earnestly with him. This man deserves to have you to do this, meaning to heal him. Verse 5, because he loves our nations and has built our synagogue. Verse 6, so Jesus went with them. He was not even far from the house when the centurion sent a friend to say to him, Lord, don't trouble yourself, for I don't deserve to have you come under my roof. This is the man who sent his elders, and later again, when Jesus was getting closer to the house, he sent his friend again to say, go and tell the master that there's no need for you to come to this house. I don't deserve you to come to my house. Listen to what he said in verse 7. That is why I did not even consider myself where to come to you, but say the word and my servant will be healed. Let me jump from 8 to Verse 9. Remember he said, don't come home. Just speak a word or send what? A word. Verse 9. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him. And turning to the crowd following him, he said, I tell you, I have not found such great faith, even in Israel. Verse 10. The men who had been sent returned to the house and they found the servant well. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, faith is the word from your heart. Faith is the word from where? Say it again, say neighbor. Faith is the word from your heart. Yes. That is the best of my short message. Faith is the word from your heart, not from your feelings, not from your mind. I've been telling you this. Faith always demanded the impossible to be what? Possible. The other time I talked about the, 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 the daughter who died and the father went to approach Jesus. Today, I want to talk about this leader. You as a child of God, you need to know this. That faith is not the word from your feelings or from your situation. It is the word from your heart. And faith makes what you believe to become the reality of your life. Faith. Make what you believe from the heart to become what? The reality. Like this man, he said, I don't deserve you to be come under my roof. Just say a word. You remember I talked about this one in Mark 5, verse 41, where Jesus spoke to that small girl by, you know, he just said, Talita, come. The word I want to pick from there, get up. 
Just a word. He never touched that one, but just a word. In the same way, this man said, I don't deserve you to, you know, to, to come to where I am. Just say a word. At first, he sent the elders. Then when Jesus was getting closer, what this man was saying is not from his feeling. It is the belief, the honor, the understanding who Jesus was. He knew that even without his presence, his word will bring solution to my servant. Faith cannot be influenced by your outside, no. Or by the insult, or by the treatment that you are going through in the hands of your brother, your sister, whoever is mistreating you. Faith is beyond the pain in the flesh. Because it is the word that understands life beyond pain. This is why this man could not see the situation on the ground compared to his faith in his heart. He said, no. Tell Jesus not to come to this place. Let him just say a word. Meaning, I believe in his word. Even without him stepping in this house, his word will do his job. And you are calling the word of God. You listen to the word of God every week. You read the Bible. You, you have watched a lot of men and women of God. Different pastors. You know them. You talk to them. You consult them. But you have never trusted and believed in the word from the mouth of Jesus. Just say a word. The word of God in you is a solution to our problem. So faith is not from your feelings. Faith is not from whatever you are going through. It is from the heart. Because what you say with your mouth and what is in your heart, as long as it is not the same, then what you are saying, you don't know what you are talking about. Faith in your heart will make what you believe to be the reality. If I believe in miracle, it is not when you see a miracle, then you jump to say, yes, I knew. No. Even before the miracle, you know, take place or took place, inside you, your faith is telling you that. It, because the word faith, if you don't know, faith does not work for something that you can do by yourself. Take note of that one. Faith cannot be applied where your thinking or your money your capacity can do or solve that problem. No. Faith always works for something which you cannot do with your mind. That is the word faith. Where you are stuck, you are confused, you don't know what to do, faith will take over your position and make the impossible to be what? Possible. Before you know it, it is done. If you can do this, if you can operate yourself, if you can, uh, you know, do whatever you want, there is no need for you to call Jesus. Can you call Jesus to come and cook on Shima? No. There is money in your pocket. No, I'm waiting uh, for Jesus by faith for me to go to shop light. Money will carry you to shop light. Eh? Where your money cannot work is where you need to apply faith. Faith is the original word that comes from where? The belief in your heart. Which makes you to be who you are. If truly you believe. I believe. Yes. When the situation is bad, where is your faith? When you are sick, where is your faith? See the way we complain when you know you are sick. No, I caught this one. They prayed for me. The situation is not changing. Can you, I want to talk to that one. Where is your faith? Faith understands every situation. It is the way that always works for what is impossible and make it what? Possible. Faith can do that. This man knew that the man Jesus, anything from his mouth 
That is Jesus himself. It as good as Jesus himself is in my house. So let him just say a word. Then my servant will be okay. And Jesus is on the way. Walking towards his house. He said, no, don't let him come near my house. Let him just say a word. Then my servant will be okay. Are you a, a, a woman and a man of faith? Do you believe that Jesus can do that even without anyone touching you? If you believe that the word is in your heart, because feelings are always misleading our faith. You feel good when things are okay. I trust Jesus. The situation is getting worse. Hmm? I think you'll be better. No, I trust Jesus. Here is oil. You apply oil. When you apply oil, everything will be okay. This is anointing water from a great man of God. So, oh, do you mean from that man? Yes, once you apply it, everything will be okay. You apply it. And then the pain is like you, you have doubled your pain. Are you going to stick to that word faith? If it is not from your heart, your feelings will start now telling you that, look, you are going to die. Something has to be done. And Satan will send his people now to say, no. You know, you are finished. You are what? Faith. Demand the impossible to be what? Possible. Where you can do, where you know that I can do this by myself. There is no need for you to say it is by faith. No. When they say there is a tumor inside your, your stomach, it's 50-50. It's, it's either you go for operation or you are risking your life. A hey, man of faith, say, okay, Father, if it is the will of God for me to die with this problem, let me go. But I believe that Jesus, you are the healer. You are what? Everyone will be saying, no, don't do that. Please remember, just go for this one, what and what. Even if you were to be operated, don't forget that there is a day that you are going to leave this world. And the one who knows that day is your father in heaven. No, now because of the pleasure, my family, my watch, you are lying. You are what? Mm -mm. You cannot borrow faith outside. Faith is within you. The way you trust Jesus, what you know about Jesus, who make you to stand even where everyone is against your opinion. You just say, no, leave me alone. Not where you start now blacking. No, it's because they say this, they say this. Uh, no, no. A child of God, where is your faith? Where is your faith? Mulete kwaka no no. And then pasando mwelesa ilie nchito mumpere. Felesa kupere. No, kuboshia mo. Na omu chiti na omu ingisha mwini kwa lapshon. No, you just say no, go ahead with what you are doing. Faith always make what you believe to become what? The reality. It is not a guesswork. What is inside your heart? is more important than your appearance. You may look good, humble, but inside you, you are not humble and you are not good. Faith is the word from where? From my heart. Where people are saying, my faith will tell me that, no, 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 no. This is the beginning of your good things. That is the way faith works. Men and women of faith, go and ask Shedrick, Meshach, and Abednego. Go and ask Daniel. They will tell you that, yes, we stood our ground. Go and ask Peter, John. They told them not to mention the name Jesus again. By faith, they said, no, 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 no. If it is right in your eyes for us, who continue mentioning this name Jesus by faith without fear faith is the word from where not from your feelings 
not from your situation because situation can mislead you and people always give what ideas opinions no if you let it more what and what uh, what and what are you a woman and man of faith you just look at them and say oh thank you instead of you now start using them to say no it's because of my friend they did this no, where is your faith where is your what the man said I don't deserve you to be under my roof just say a word Jesus entered the house of that man he never touched the sister. He just said, Alita, come, meaning get up. And the sister came back to life. The woman of the issue of blood. Jesus never touched this woman. It is the woman by faith to say, once I touch this man, then that is the end of my problem. And remember the protocol of Jesus. Twelve people surrounded him. But she managed by faith. Without faith to make you, you know, not to fear anyone. Epa kamsanga tu muntu nga ako powa chitile kuchitetekala umbi nga ako patafichitashani. Tafibomba. Faith is the word from where? From my heart. From your heart. If truly you are such a person in your heart, Satan is afraid of you. He is scared of you. He is afraid of you because nothing that can move you. Nothing that can do what? Are you there? So apply your faith. No matter what. Tell Jesus to speak a word. And that word will change the situation of your life. No matter what, faith always demanded the impossible to be what? Possible. Thank you. God bless you.